Hey guys, it's Webhax and I'm Chris. Um, today I'm going to be showing you another tweak similar to the um, Google change preferences thing. Um, as I said before that I would, you guys probably already know this, um, well some of you anyway, I'm just going to show you the people who don't know this, so if you're a pretty wizard, wizard computers then you'll probably know this. Okay, so um, uh, down of course we have the toolbar thingy. Um, and here we have our running programs, the Camp Sudo, um, uh, local area connection, AVG, volume, um, basically all the stuff you'd normally have. If you right click on there, you can adjust the day and time, but we don't want to concentrate on that now. We want to go, um, oh. alright, we want to click properties. Okay, so over to your left. You'll see there's some um, taskbar and start menu properties. And so there's a lot of things you can do here. You can lock the taskbar and you can auto hide it. So we'll show you a little preview up there. Um, group similar taskbar buttons. Uh, show you can show quick launch. Um, yeah, I, there's a lot of stuff you can do. That's the example. Um, down in the bottom, you can show the clock. Uh, I found it very handy having the clock there. So. And, or you can hide inactive icons. I like doing that because, well, it's a bit easier for me. <coughs> you can easily customize it and um, choose which, like, hide when inactive or always hide. You know, um, I like volume to um, always show so that, um, because I found volume very handy. Um, yeah, you can do whatever you want. Uh, depends what you, you know. Just go okay. Um, now you, you can swap over and click start menu. And um, yeah, you can have classic start menu, which would be this old one like that. I don't want that. I want this, this sort of start menu. So we'll just click customize that. You can choose if you want large icons or small icons. Find it easier having large icons, but it's up to you. You can change the number of programs on the start menu. I just stick with six, six, or you can actually even clear the list. Um, show and start menu, internet and email. Um, you can also choose Hotmail or whatever. I use Hotmail, so um, and you can choose uh, normally if you have like Mozilla or whatever, you can choose different ones. But I only have that. Just click OK. Um, you can also click customize advanced and um. You can highlight newly installed programs or open sub -menu menus when I pause them with my mouse. Don't know what that is. And we have a whole lot of options here. The control panel we can display as a link menu or don't display this item. I display display it as a link. Um, it's the same with many of these things. You can just go through that and choose. You can clear the whole list. Just press OK and click apply. Um, okay. So that's basically um it and um that's uh, a little tweak you can do with your taskbar. Uh you can also change it by um clicking right clicking this in properties and you'll have brought that up. But um I'm not gonna do that today. You can also go to that control panel and uh where is it? Oh, uh, well, it's in here somewhere. Appearance and themes. Um, you can just change the, the computer's theme, um, which is easily, it's just like clicking on the back. Um, yeah. And uh, so you have taskbar and start menu. Also, you can change the folder options. Um, okay, so you can show common task and folders or use Windows Classic folders. I just like that one. Um, yeah, you can basically tweak it, whatever you want. Um, heaps of stuff in view. Um, so you can go through that. Um, I won't go through that today because I'm on a time limit. But, um, just do that. And, uh, if you're, if you want to change those settings, um, yep. Yeah. It's very easy and I hope you like, uh, I hope this has helped you a bit with, customizing your, your own computer so it's unique or 
whatever. Um, hope you found it handy. Um, subscribe if you like my videos. Rate, r rating really helps. And look forward to posting more. <sighs> Goodbye. Oh, God. Uh, yeah, I'll see you later. And I've nearly got, uh, I'm still saving up for the Xbox. See, this is the Xbox Elite. Mm, pretty cool.